Ten days after Egypt came out of its state of emergency, it's now subject to 25 new rules on public protest, even more restrictive than those used by longtime ruler Hosni Mubarak. The law bans public gathering of more than 10 people without prior notice, and authorities can refuse permission should they decide the protest is a threat to public order. It gives police the right to use force, including tear gas and clubs, and stipulates strict jail terms, including seven years for violence, ten years for obtaining a weapon. The government says the new law will help restore stability, but critics say it strips Egyptians of basic freedoms. This law is aimed at intimidating people and denying them a right to stage a revolution. It is not to frustrate the Muslim Brotherhood. The purpose is to end protests in the entire nation. This means that the government can do whatever it wants and will remain silent. This will never happen. Interim President Adli Mansour approved the new bill over the weekend, but it applies to protests planned before then. Anyone taking part in an unauthorized gathering will be fined $300 and or jailed. We do have criminal laws and the old law against protests still exists. If people are violent, they can be contained using those laws, but the government is not applying them. According to the temporary constitution, the president must get parliament's approval for these new laws. If not the parliament, then a referendum. Otherwise, he cannot impose such harsh penalties. Between regulating and oppressing protests, there's a thin line. But the fact remains, with the new law, the government is seeking full control over rallies. And already, calls are spreading among many Egyptians to break the law by protesting on Tuesday to reject it. Adel Mahrui, CCTV, Cairo.